Dear children, I am Deepa, your new biology teacher. I think all are fine. Everyone try to see Victor's channel. I will send a video clip along with some notes. You should write notes accordingly. Okay. Let's start a new lesson. Life's mystery is in little chambers. Don't you know that the body of all organisms are made up of cells? But it is not possible to see the cells by our naked eyes. With the help of a microscope, we can magnify the objects. Lenses are fixed in the microscope for this purpose. Clear? See, this is the diagram of compound microscope. Let us identify the following parts and their use. Now, we are going to learn about what are the parts and how to operate a microscope? First one is the eyepiece. The part of the microscope that is the closest to your eye to which you look. It contains the ocular lens which makes the image produced by the objective lenses larger. Second one is the knob. The fine adjustment knob is the small knob used to change the position of the body tube by making small adjustments to the focus of your sample. Third one is the objective lens. The objectives are the parts at the bottom of the body tube closest to the sample we are examining. Each objective has lens. Next one is stage and clip. The stage is a flat surface on which you put your slides or samples. The stage clips hold the slide in place on the stage. Fifth one is the condenser. Beneath the stage in some microscopes have a condenser which collects and concentrates the light before passes through the sample. The last one is the mirror. The mirror is located beneath the stage diaphragm which increases the amount of light shining through the sample. Hope you understood the basic concepts of a compound microscope.